Chris, the receiver room has really looked good this year, I guess. Uh, with, just let's talk about the room as a whole first and what are you seeing and how you guys are really pushing each other. And then you individually, could you talk about the gains that you made this summer to be the player you want to be this fall? Um, as far as the room as a whole, you know, we got a lot of new guys uh, that came in. So we basically taking it day by day, seeing improvements every day. And that's kind of the main goal each day, just to get better each day. Uh, me personally, from the spring to now, I made a, a bunch of huge jumps, and that's mainly because my focus is different. Like, I'm attacking each day uh, the same way now, so yeah. In what way? I mean, like, let's, let's talk about your improvement. Like, in what way do you, did the light bulb come on for you that you feel like, all right, this is my time? Mainly because I'm 100% healthy now. You know, in the spring, I kind of had, I still had, like, uh, the shoulder injury uh, still lingering, but now I'm completely healed. You said you have new players in there, but when I look at the guys that are there, they were there last year, the front end guys, Brian, Kyron, Malik, yourself, you know, just how much have you all pushed each other over the off season to really kind of elevate the room? I mean, personally, you want competition in that room and we all push each other each and every day. And we also push the young guys too, and we hold them to a high standard. So after a couple of years with the program, you feel like you're kind of poised for a breakout season this year? Uh, yes, sir. Like I said, I'm 100% healthy now. I feel like myself, my confidence is back. So, yeah. And overall, these two quarterbacks that you're mainly working with, how better are they today than, say, a year ago at this time? Um, we've seen a bunch of improvements from both of them from last year to this season. And that's something that you want to see with your quarterbacks. What is uh, Cortez really stressing as far as the receiver room and what you guys need to display out there on the practice field? Basically, play, fa play fast every play and be key on the small details because that's the stuff that matters. What is that? Is that getting off the line, foot placement, hands? What, like, kind of walk me through, I guess, some of the things that he, he's really stressed. Basically, basically uh, play assignments, like knowing the small details in the play, knowing what you're doing, and then finishing routes. What have you seen from Malik as far as really elevating to that, that next level? Uh, for him, I've seen him take more of a leadership role this year than it was last year. So that's something that I like to see. And Aaron Anderson's a guy that's getting a lot of talk. You know, what do you see in his game? And, and how exciting is it once he gets the ball in his hands? Man, that's like another playmaker in the room. And we're always happy to have him. Uh, Shelton Sampson Jr. for a true freshman, is he picking on, uh, picking up pretty quickly? Uh, yeah, you know, every, every freshman has, has their days, but for him, he's attacking each day with the same mindset, and that's something that, that he has to keep doing in order to, order to get better. I guess Mike kind of asked you about it, but year two of the Denbrock offense and the Brian Kelly system and all that, is it easier or, or you know what to expect now? Are you more productive instead of being told, hey, this is how we do it? Uh, with the second year being in the offense, it's coming more natural now. You get to play, you automatically know what to do. You know the other assignments. So, I know you grew up here in Louisiana, and maybe you're not allowed to talk about the heat and the weather, but how challenging has this camp been out there? Probably the hottest one that I've been in, to be honest with you. Chris, when you talk about being healthy now, can you just give us a little bit of kind of peek behind the scenes for you, what it was like going through some of those injuries the last few years, going back to high school, frustrations, challenges, and how good it feels to be feeling good physically now? Um, going back to my freshman year, which was, I think, my left knee or my right knee, it'll one off. Uh, it could put you in a dark place mentally. And I was in that dark place for a long, a long time. and. I was able to bring myself out of it just by basically keeping faith in God. And now I'm 100% healthy, and I owe everything to him. And that's why you see what you see now. You um, talked about, obviously, the you know physical part and how you got healthy. But like, what are some of the mental things that you did do to get completely healthy? Shoot. Prayed almost every day, attack rehab every day. And I was thankful for my, uh, for my trainers. Where all your injuries? Uh, to my, well, first high school had a list rank injury in my foot. 
tore both meniscus and a torn labrum in my shoulder. Shoulder was last year? Yeah. So what do you want out of this year? I mean, you got a great opportunity, you know, with a, a really skilled quarterback that can get the ball down the field. Is it, you feel like now's your chance? Uh, yeah, most definitely. Like, my goal this year, I just want to basically make a name for myself. Obviously, seeing you do side work for you know, much of the practices, I guess kind of first off, get us caught up on where you're at and, mm -hmm. and you'd be ready to go for the opener, etc. Oh, most definitely I'll be ready for the opener. I'll be actually back till, uh, tomorrow. i um, been dealing with vertigo, so it's you know, kind of kind of hard dealing with that. But uh, I wasn't really feeling myself like myself last week, but now I'm, I'm, I'm back better and uh, ready to back healthy team. Yeah, obviously that's got to be pretty weird, right? I guess just first off, what did you think when it happened and how have you been dealing with it? Um, I was like, so when they first told me, I didn't know what it was, like, ever. So I looked it up and then it was the exact symptoms. And um, it was kind of hard, you know, being at home, laying down and just getting real, real dizzy and stuff like that. But uh, it's, it's, it's kind of, it's past me. Um, I, get, I took the medicine, uh, got the crystals back aligned, so everything's going to be good now. Crystals in your ears or something? Mm -hmm. that's, that's nuts, huh? Yeah, it's crazy, like, <laughs> just having to deal with that. We've seen the defensive backfield make strides mm -hmm. over the last week, I guess. Obviously, it's disheartening when practice first starts and you guys got to kind of behind the offense. I guess just speak to the, the amount of pride that you're taking now that the defense is kind of settling in and, and getting their feet underneath them and being competitive at practice. Most definitely. You know, I had to talk with the guys today after practice. You know, we got to keep going out there each and every day and try to act like we're the best secondary in the country, which I firmly believe that we are. And, um, we got to keep putting that work each and every day, uh, playing with confidence each and every play, not just some plays, but uh, each and every play. And I feel like definitely coming along as a unit, and it, it, it's showing throughout these practices. While you've been out, have you had a different perspective? Can you see things a little differently that maybe helps them after practice? Most definitely, just seeing little things, that like more communication, little things that we need to work on as a unit. And I um, feel like that's, that's helping us a lot, giving my input on, you know, me, me being an older guy, veteran playing here, uh, actually, they're actually listening and uh, taking it into account. Two new corners. What are you seeing on the on the outside? Oh uh, man, I, I'm seeing as a ball hawk skills from Deuce. I'm not gonna lie to you. Um, I feel like he's he's a great player. He's gonna be a, a good help addition to us. And um, they also work in Sage Ryan at corner. And I feel like he's gonna be good there too. Zai on the other side. Oh Zai, yeah, he's he's going. He's been balling since spring, so you know, not too much to say about that. You had that big play against Auburn where you ripped the ball out late in the contest. Coach House on Saturday talked about the need to get more turnovers this year, and that, that's a big emphasis at practice. Can you speak to that and <clears throat> what you guys are doing? Most definitely, just scooping every ball up, even if it's an incomplete play, scooping everything, just getting in the habit of picking the ball up, you know what I'm saying, having the ball in your hands, and I feel like uh, we're definitely getting better at that. You know, we obviously have missed opportunities at that today, but uh, got to keep going and keep building that habit. And the uh, third down, Defense. I think the opponents were 39 percent, and Coach House says that's that's too high. Is mm -hmm. that another thing that uh, he said you guys have really been talking a lot about? Oh yeah, just being more aggressive. Like I said, playing with more confidence on third down, being playing tighter on body coverage, and uh, just being more aggressive with that. And I definitely think we'll uh, be better at that this year. You were one of the new players a year ago. There were so many new players last year, and there are some this year. But you guys more comfortable, know what to expect. Um, you know, as a team. This year? Yeah, I would say that this year, you know, uh, especially last year, you know, nobody really knew what, what we were getting ourselves into, probably even y'all. So um, I feel like this year is, is, is great. We have a better bond throughout the team, and uh, I feel like it's going to be good. Uh, Andre Sam's really stood out in practice so far. What does having like a third veteran safety out there really do for y'all's uh, versatility on defense? It's nice, you know. I, I love it. It's gonna allow me to play more positions. So um, and, and Jerry's been balling, you know. Shout out to him, man. And uh, he he comes in every day, works hard. So I feel like it's, it's a great addition for us and uh, very good on the back end for us. Let's talk about the receivers that you're going up against a little bit. What are you seeing in them? Obviously, that first four. If you throw Mason in there, really will be a challenge, I think, for a lot of defenses. Oh, yeah, most definitely. They, I mean, they go out there. They work hard each and every day. Obviously, you got Malik, Kyron, and uh, BT, and obviously Mason. But they got some young guys stepping up, too, that I think will be good. Like Aaron Evers is going to be, man, he throw him a little screen. You know, he might take it to the crib. So, you know what I'm saying? So I feel like, uh, I feel like those guys are definitely stepping up, working hard each and every day. Is, is Aaron a safety nightmare? Because once he gets in the middle, it's... Um, I probably have to say, uh, yeah, he is. I'm not gonna say too much, but yeah, he is. What, what about his game? Obviously, he's small, right? So mm -hmm. it's hard to find first off, but then he's quick. Yeah, so I, I feel like quick game is what suits him the best. You know what I'm saying? I, and um, you get him the ball in space, let him do what he do. You know what I'm saying? He's one of those guys, just give him the ball.
So I feel like that he's going to be a huge key, key to our offense this year. We just talked to Chris, obviously Brian, both very quiet guys, at least around us. I don't know what they're like out there on the field, but what do you see for them this year? Is this like kind of a breakout opportunity for them with a lot of the attention that's going to go to Malik or Kyron? Most definitely, and I think BT is just us up there with Kyron and uh, Malik. And, you know, Chris has been getting hell of a lot better since last year. You know, obviously, you know, burner guy, but BT, BT is really good. Chris is good as well. So I feel like both of those guys are definitely going to have breakout years. Tell me about Major, I guess, and just coming back from injury. What has he been like? Obviously, he's a big talk guy, but, you know, is, is, is he key to kind of keeping you all lined up back there? Most definitely, you know what I'm saying? I, I talk to Major all the time, man. Just, you know, uh, it's me and you, man. Like, you know, we, we the ones that's been here, seen what it's done, and uh, just, just keeping the level head with everything, you know what I'm saying? And, uh, keeping everything, like, whenever whenever Major has a problem, I'm, I'm, I'm there for him, you know what I'm saying? To help him out, talk to him, get him right. So I uh, feel like he's definitely taking that step and uh, he's definitely helping us in that back end. Uh, the AP Top 25 came out today. You're number five in that poll. So if you're a top five team in both polls, do things like that excite the team or you're just in this building practice and <laughs> that's it? Just in this building practice, you know what I'm saying? We don't listen to outside noise, you know what I'm saying? That's how you get, that's how you get caught up into it a lot, you know what I'm saying? Last year we weren't ranked, obviously, you know, you, just, you see what happened towards the end. So, uh, so like, we can't pay attention to that, you know what I'm saying? Obviously, it's an honor to be ranked that high, but we can't pay attention to that at all. Appreciate it. What's up, dude? Good to see you again. Yeah, you too. How is that offensive line different, you know, this year as opposed to last year? Obviously, it was kind of like, you know, BK says, just grab five and let's roll. But do you guys really feel like you took huge strides? Yeah, no, we definitely, like, we're, the difference between last year and this year is that we're together. Like, we're playing as a one, a one full unit. It's not five individual people. We're all together. We all are communicating with each other. There's no more, like... Uh, I don't trust my neighbor next to me to let this man go. If he's going to be there, like, we know that we trust each other. So I think that's the big difference between this year and last year. Obviously, you guys had, like, eight different rotations to start the year, too. So to some degree, now that that's in the rearview mirror, it's helpful because you know what every position might need, you know, as far as help, et cetera. How, how important is it that everything's kind of solidified and not, there's not a lot of flip-flopping? Uh, it's nice because um, so now we can focus on, like, one position get really good at it and then we can like like I said earlier uh, learn our neighbors they get really good at what they're doing and then it just becomes like more of a, a unit together than individual play. Uh, Emery and, and Will just playing as true freshmen in the SEC is still kind of mind-blowing what kind of what kind of jumps have they made? <laughs> they made huge jumps all the little things that they needed to work on from last year from just habits of being in high school they've been fixing and yeah they're gonna be Really good this year. Uh, what about the additions like of Zalance and then Lunsford? Uh, do you feel like you guys are deeper mm -hmm. than you were before and more guys can play? Yeah, so Coach Davis does a great job on bringing those guys up to speed. And I'll just have in a few extra guys just in case someone goes down because you never know. Uh, they're always there ready and they'll play at the standard of LSU. So having them here is great. Um, the rankings came out, you're top five in both polls. Uh, you were unranked a year ago, so does it mean the same? <laughs> I mean, our, our goal is still the same, win a national championship. So we work towards our uh, goals, and yeah, so it doesn't matter what the rank says, we'll play our best out there. I know you've been through this heat before, but as a big guy from Michigan, right? <laughs> yeah. What, what's this summer been like, this August been like? So it's been pretty hot this, uh, this summer so far. I think the past like two weeks, it's been over 100 degrees, 110, and you just get out there, suck it up for the first five minutes, get used to it, and then forget about it. That's all you can do right now. Mm -hmm. What are you seeing in that defensive line? Braden Swenson today really flashed. I mean, I'm sure it's different guys, different days, mm -hmm. but how good are they as far as getting you guys better? I would say they're, they're definitely like – top defense line in the country. There's no doubt in my mind. I've played against a lot of uh, defense line and those guys, those guys can bring it. And so playing against them, like if we, if we can play against them as well as we've been doing, no worry about any other team. What are they doing well? Like if you could get into a couple of guys that have really flashed for you. Uh, I mean, if you look at Makai and Mason, they, they know how to set the point. They know how to two gap. They know how to read like 
they just do what they're being told, and they also don't play like robots. They know like if this happens, like you just gotta. They just they're just good players. What about on the ends? Uh, we our ends are so we got a lot of transfers, and so at their spring they they learned it. They got here and they're they're killing it now. Like I said, like playing against them, our our tackles are going to be one of the best now because we're going against some of the best guys. And Charles Turner there in the middle, he says he's as heavy as he's ever been. That was always kind of a knock on him that he was a little light and mm -hmm. whatnot. But um, what have you seen from him? I know they've say they've said he's matured. He's you know more more of a leader now mm -hmm. than he used to be. Yeah, I mean, he's been leading. He knows the defense. Like as much as he has to know the offense, he has to know what the defensive fronts are. He's making his calls. He plays with extreme effort. Like, no one can take that away from him. Like he's playing the hardest out there as anyone. He's he's doing really good out there for us. We love him there. And Miles Frazier, maybe we don't talk about him enough, but he seems like he's been a pretty solid contributor to yeah. the offensive line. I mean, if you look at last year, he just came in, earned his starting spot, and he's just been working, working on the little things, trying to get better at the things he struggles with, and even to right now, like he's, they're, they're, our, our line's balling right now. Tell me about Jaden. What kind of growth have you seen in him as far as just commanding the offense? Uh, so he makes the call to the offensive line. And then if we ever like need something, he knows how to switch the switch the play around. He's able to read the defense in the sense of like what I can't really see that safety that gets off the hash as much. So he knows how to turn us into the right direction and just kind of guide us where we should be. Do you think he's more comfortable and therefore more vocal? Like, have you seen like bigger kind of uh, mm -hmm. leadership responsibilities? For yeah, him? I think he's uh, trusting us as O line to protect him. So he's putting hit, like he's trusting us, which allows him to make worry about what he should be worrying about and not let us worry about the defense line not touching him. And so now he's able to make calls that he wasn't quite sure earlier on. You seen a little bit more patience from him in the pocket as far as getting the ball to other people and not running back with it too? Yeah, uh, he's definitely been throwing it a lot. We haven't been worried about him just breaking free, but if he does want to break free and run 20 yards, we'll take it. There. So. <laughs> what, about, what about this team as a whole offensively? Are you excited? I mean, you get so many different backs, obviously super talented receivers, a great tight end, the offensive line returns. There's a, everything seems to be going in the right direction for you all. Yeah. Does, does it... Can you get excited about that, or are you still kind of like pumping the brakes? I mean, you're always excited about it, but it's something that's like you, you can't look at it like as in, oh, we're we're gonna be so good, we can't we can just chill now. You got to just keep on pushing forward, and that's what we're doing. We're not holding back. Like we got the talent, so we're using the talent, and we're just going with everyone's expected to do their roles, and that's what they're doing. Like our offense, or our, our offense as a whole, knows what they're what they're doing. In your position, Coach Brad Davis, um, talking to him, it seems like, you know, whatever you get, 70 snaps or whatever, don't waste a single one, right? Mm -hmm. I mean, how, how does he – he's been the same guy since you met him and yeah. the way he coaches and all that? Yeah, he's been, he's been the same since, he got, since I've known him. And he's true to his word. He does what he says he's going to do. And then lately he's been trying to get us to bring the energy more. So just the last few practices he's been stepping back seeing how we will take that energy to the next level as a unit. And I think we've been doing good. And yeah. Hey, Jacoby, and y'all got a lot of transfers on the defensive line. How's it going to help guys like you and Makai Wingo who had to play a ton last year? I mean, are y'all going to be more fresh late in games? Uh, I, think, I think with us bringing guys in, it's going to do nothing but, you know, just like provide depth for us. So us providing depth is going to get guys like, you know, like me, Mason, you know, Makai, like, like us to play at 100% consistently. So like when those guys come in, they're 100%, you know what I'm saying, then we go back in, then we're 100%. It's just 100%, you know what I'm saying? Like both units are just 100%. And like, like so I think those guys come here and adding depth is gonna be like phenomenal for the defense this year. <coughs> we were just talking to Delhi, um, just about the offense, you know, having all the, all the, the tiers checked, right? Like they're just super good and talented and returning a lot of experience. How good is that for a defense to go against 
every day and, and really, you know, sharpen your skills? I mean, like, you know, like like the saying that I've, I've been told since the day I started playing football, iron definitely does sharpen iron. So, you know what I'm saying? Just to have those guys, those five guys in their, their A game, like they're 100% also, you know, so us pushing on each other, like, you know what I'm saying? You got to think about it. Like, I got Makai, an All-American, and Mason, I know he's going to be an All-American, you know what I'm saying? So I got, like, this iron is literally sharpened iron every single day. So, like, like even though that we, we might fight and we might not, we like, but we're like brothers, you know, with the offensive line. So offensive line, like, we'll, we'll fight one day, but love each other as soon as we come back in the locker room. So, like, you know. Have you seen a lot of growth? On them now that they're kind of settled on who they are. I've seen I've seen like growth from like both groups. You know what I'm saying? Like like guys have like like really honed in like the knowing that that the Trishes have to be like the the guys that bring it home all the time. So I think like just both sides of the ball just got you know what I'm saying just took that extra step this year. Talk about your ends on the defensive side. Um, Braden Swenson really looked great today, mm -hmm. winning his battles. Uh, just what are you seeing from those guys? You got new talent there, obviously. Shit, who are they? And you got you got Ov, you got Big Swint. You got Say Savion, uh, Womack. You can put Paris out there. You got you got uh, you got uh, Quincy. Man, it's just like you know what I'm saying. Just to be so versatility, because like some of those guys can be pass rushers, but also can you know they can come in and stop the, and stop the run too. So like just you know having versatile versatility at end is going to be another big thing for the defensive line this year too. What have you seen from your linebackers specifically, the two in the middle behind you, kind of making sure you're right and. You know, shooting them if they can, but but really holding it down for you. Well, I told Ov and Perk, I was like, bro, like I'm a whole double team. Y'all just go, y'all do what y'all do. You know what I'm saying? When I'm in, I'm holding double teams. I'm I'm like, we're getting nasty in there. So so guys like that can make plays. You know what I'm saying? That's how defense works. We're building walls. Uh, Jacoby, where are you today as opposed to two or three years ago here as a player? I feel like mentally, I, I've taken like a a huge step, you know what I'm saying? Like, I've really honed in on, like, you know, just getting out of my head a lot. And I feel like that's why I've been messing up a lot of years, just being in my own head, you know? So like, like I told everybody, like, over there, I told them, like, uh, um, to me, it's me versus me. I feel like, you know, I, I could do no wrong. I feel like if I, I fuck, am I, oh, I'm, I'm sorry. I messed up, you know what I'm saying? It's, it's on me, you know what I'm saying? So, like like I said, it's always, like, me versus me. So now that I have, like, that, that new mindset of, you know, attacking every day, like, you know, like Coach Kelly comes out there, he says, attack the day. So like I attack today and I, I just feel myself, you know, you could just feel it, you know what I'm saying, just getting better every single day. What did you learn about going up against SEC competition in terms of how much better do I have to be or, you know, to, to reach the point? Like I said, I feel like I've always been, you know, better, but but me, like the me versus me thing, like like it'll be the wrong step. I'll take the wrong step. My hands were in the right place. I'm, my shoulders are in the right spot, you know? So like just cleaning up like the little stuff and being like tech, like technically sound is going to be like a really big thing for me, even when I'm tired. So like keep it, like homing in on that. And I think I've done like an amazing job in that. Like spring, even to now, like I feel like I've even grown enough, like even more like mentally. So I'm just excited for the year, what the year has to hold. How good do you think this team can be? It's not about how good we can be. It's about how great we can be to me. Like, I, I love coming into work every day. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, Jaden at the, at the quarterback, Nuss at the quarterback. It doesn't even matter. Like, I love coming to work every day. So, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I feel like that another thing, like, me versus me, like, it's, we can only hold it. We can only go as far as we want to go. And, and Coach Kelly in his second year now, maybe in your first year, you, you, you guys are like, maybe, who, who is this guy? But now do you kind of see his vision and, and having success in the first year, you can see where you're going? Yeah, and I feel like another thing, like, I feel like I play a lot better when me and the head coach has a, like a nice relationship. And I can say like one thing about Coach Kelly, like our relationship from year one to year two is like phenomenal. Like like he, he probably didn't even know like we have the birthday, like we have our birthdays on the same day. Like it's it's like so so like, you know, just just being comfortable with Coach Kelly, I feel like the whole team, you know what I'm saying? We understand how he works, we know we know how he works and everything. So like so I think I think the whole team is just more comfortable with him now. I mean, just listening to you say that, it, I would assume just the comfort level for everyone mm -hmm. is, is there too, right? I mean, right. It, do you feel like that's why you can be so good, so great? Because right. you're not really thinking anymore. You're not right. worrying where you step, kind of thing. Right. I, and I feel like, like, like uh, with the with like the defense, I've been I've been in this defense for two years. Like for now, like now it's just like boom, boom, another play, I've got another play. Uh, what, where is there? Where are we going? Where are we going? What's the play now? Like it, like last year, I felt like it was too much thinking. Like, like I felt like another like holding myself back. But now, like it's just like boom, 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 boom. Let's do it. You know what I'm saying? So like, I, like and then a uh, shout out to like the linebackers. You know what I'm saying? For getting us, you know, in the right spot every like. You know what I'm saying? We'll make sure we're in the right spot every single play. 
You mentioned Jaden. Just what have you seen from him across the ball as far as commanding the offense? Man, J5 is going to do what he does. You know what I'm saying? He's going he's to, you know, just be a leader out there for one. And he's going to have the right mindset to make sure we we're put in the right position to score or just do what we have to do for that possession. You excited? I mean, does all this stuff make you excited? Man, I get, I think about it every single day, every day. It gets me excited every day because, like, I, I feel like it's us against the world right now. And I feel like, you know what I'm saying, I, I really, like, in my head, I feel like we're going to win it. I, I, I mean, I, I know it's kind of early to say that, but I, in my head, I think that every day that like, we're going to win it. So, like, winning the day, like, but Coach Kelly, he doesn't see it like that. He sees this, let's win the day. And, and that's how you really do that. So sometimes I have to pull back and, like, realize, you know, let's win the day. Let's worry about today. But I, 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 in my heart, I, I honestly don't believe that we can win a national championship here.